So last month, Epic came out with the Meta Human Creator sample project. I made a video about that and got like 148,000 views on YouTube. So it blew up. So for the past month, I've been creating Meta Human videos on YouTube and got a lot of shout out from different people because it just exploded. If you've been doing CG for a while, you understand how hard it is to create photorealistic characters. And this tool will let you do that in a matter of seconds. But like any thing good in life there's always that one person that's gonna ruin it for everyone so this right here is the first episode of unreal engine talk where i'm just gonna talk about stuff that's related to unreal engine so for the first episode of the unreal engine talk i'm gonna be speaking with jill who unfortunately fell victim to a meta human character she thought she fell in love with an actual human being. Well, in fact, she fell in love with a meta human. Hi there, Jill. Uh, thanks for agreeing to talk to me about this thing. I know it's one of those things that are, it's kind of like <laughs> private and stuff, but uh, yeah. I just wanted to get you in the channel to talk about what happened, really. So if you'd like to introduce yourself, go ahead and then maybe talk about what happened. Yeah, yeah. Well, I really appreciate you having me. Um, like you said, this is not like an ideal scenario, not something that I necessarily want to talk about, but I do think that it's really important that we raise awareness about it because I'm not, I didn't even know that this was something that happened to people. So, right. um, but yeah, I mean, I'm Jill, um, I'm a professional model and, you know, I guess first things first, uh, we met, um, because I, I, I'd moved cities and, um, I was added into this like, I guess it's a network of local creatives that were there in the town that I lived in that I got added to. And he was in the group as well. He's, um, I guess, dabbles in, you know, photography, videography, things like that. And so um, he ended up reaching out to me, you know, wanting to kind of chat and what seemed to be kind of a business type relationship at first, you know, it developed into something more. And uh, I'm just... I still can't even believe it happened, honestly. Like it's it's insane. I'm I'm blown yeah. away it, at the It's just crazy because we live in that technology right now where seeing is no longer believing. There's just so much stuff out there. Yeah. That can trick you. I mean, that's just crazy. And it's one of those things that, yeah, like you said, race awareness, and that's why I'm kind of doing this because that software is not even out yet. So that, that was just a sample and you already fell for that. So it's kind of scary. I know. Um, I, know. I mean, it's, it's insane. I mean, technology is clearly, I mean, it's a good thing, but right. you know, now it's just like, I don't, I don't know what I can trust, you know? It's, <laughs> yeah. It's very hard. I mean, it's a good thing, yeah. but there's always that one person that's going to ruin it for everyone. But did you, oh, yeah. did you notice anything strange about him at all? Like, I mean, in hindsight, looking back at it now, I, okay, he always wore this like really ugly, like hoodie shirt, yeah, like all the time. And, you know, I'd bring it up from time to time, just, you know, mentioning like, why are you always wearing that? But I mean, you know, I, I don't know him super, super well. Right. Um, I really liked his personality. We got along really great. So I just kind of like pushed it to the side. And and now looking back at it, I was like, that was a huge red flag. Like who wears the same ugly sweatshirt every day? <laughs> over and over and over again. I mean, that's Yeah, that's I'm like, insane. do you have like 37 of these shirts or it's are we just, just right. wearing like what is this? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's I mean, that's cool. And it's again, it's one of those things like that guy was supposed to be just a sample. So there's only one. You only had one piece of. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah. And he would get super defensive whenever I would, you know, bring it up or, or talk about it. So it was just like, he, I don't know, I guess it, it seemed to me like it was a sore spot or like, it was like his, his yeah. uh, security blanket or something. Right, so I was right, just right. like, okay, like, right. Where, where I mean, he? but then again, things happen so fast that you probably didn't even notice that. I mean, you guys were kind of like together for less than a month. So it's not something, and you guys were far away too. So it's one of right. those things that, 
you guys were just video chatting and you know chatting online so stuff you won't really notice I mean, if it was real life obviously you would notice it a little bit more but i mean speaking of like in that short amount of time how serious did you guys get if no, you don't mind no. me asking no i mean you know that's the thing is that's i guess the thing that i worry about the most is not knowing who this thing really was and you know i shared intimate details of my life and and about my family you know i i introduced him to my parents and i mean it's it, he knows like where i live and what i look like and so many things about me that it's just it's scary and i still to this day i don't know who it could possibly be and i feel so stupid and so ashamed of myself just for for you know being that gullible i'm i I've, i've never been fooled to this level right i mean i mean to be honest in your defense i mean this happens all the time to people but with pictures i mean this has been going on ever, ever since the internet came about people have been scammed by people like this all the time but before it was just pictures you know people would chat and right. they would send each other pictures but we're at the point of technology where this guy is able to put on a motion capture suit and use his phone to track his face to talk to you so it's definitely a new thing that somebody can just sit here with a motion capture suit and be pretend to be somebody else and that's really the scary part and that's why i kind of even though i love this technology and i'm going to be using it for creative reasons there's going to be some people out there that are going to be taking advantage of this i mean good lord it was only out for like less than a month and you already fell you already fell for it pretty much and that's that's very unfortunate and it's just kind of funny because doug uh for trail photography probably the best photographers here in a local area for us He's a buddy of mine and we always talk nerdy stuff, camera stuff. And he's like, yeah, bro, I, I did a shoot with Jill. And he said, go check out her Instagram. So I did. And I was scrolling down the pictures and images and I saw the picture of the guy. And I told him, I'm like, does she use Unreal Engine? Like, is she, is she into this kind of creative stuff? And he was like, no, dude, she, she, I think that's her boyfriend. And that was when a light bulb came on and i was like but that person's not real like that's just yeah. a, that's just a piece of tech and software that they created so that's when i reached out to him and i got your information i was like dude i have to talk to her and make a video about this because this is insane like i've never well this is so new that i don't think it's ever yeah. happened to anybody before i think you're the very first one so that's how i kind of found you is through him which is pretty crazy still. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's mind blowing just because like who, who does this? Like for what reason, you know, like what, what motive could you possibly have to lead somebody on, pretend to be somebody else, connect with them on an emotional level. And then, and then for what? Yeah, you know, like I mean, day, was he like, trying to get money from you at any time, or because usually this these scammers usually ask for money and stuff like that. Did he yeah, ever bring I that mean, up? He never asked me for money. He, like I said, it started off kind of as a business, right, 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 you know, creative stuff. I mean, that's how about, that's how people yeah. connect all the time now. Yeah, that's true. right. So I mean, but as as far as like asking for money, you know, he he would. Um, you know, he, I guess now looking back at it, you know, he would talk about, um, you know, that he was short on funds and, uh, things like that, but he never right. straight up asked me, um, maybe he was just subtly implying, um, right. You know, and, and I honestly didn't even realize that until just right now. Yeah, right. I mean, that's usually <laughs> like, what else, what else? Yeah, I mean, scammers <laughs> usually go for that cash. I mean, it's my, my, I, man, I got so many friends that you know, because it's people meet people online and I've had a couple of friends that this happened to them, but obviously not this freaking technology wise. It's not like this insane. But yeah. I mean, as far as were you guys trying to push it? Like, were you guys trying to meet up one day, like to just kind you know, of finally get together? I, yeah. I mean, I was always, I feel like I was one more the one wanting to meet up and, and he was still you know, he would always come up with excuses as to why he couldn't, um, 
you know, one time his dog ran away and he was looking for his dog. And, yeah, that's that's a good one. Uh, he got the car a accident tire. ones. You, yeah, yeah, the car accident ones. Yours are mm-hmm. common ones. But yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Well, it's it's a sad story, but at the same time, like bringing this up now, uploading this, maybe people would be more aware of it because, like you said, perfectly, it's technology is amazing but unfortunately someone out there will always take advantage of that um but i hope i hope it doesn't deter you from finding any more people online just maybe i can give you some tips because i've used this i've been using this software playing around with it for the last month um one of the most common things is if you look at their hands it's pretty terrible uh it's not it doesn't look like real hands it's usually squished and uh as far as their face their lips they don't usually close all the way. So those are the kind of things that you should be looking out for whenever you meet somebody else new online or something like that. But right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, wow. (laughs) You know, and you're saying all of this now. And like I said, I mean, I didn't even know this was something that happened. Yeah. I mean, love is always going to blind you. It's just the way it is. Yeah. It's, you're never going to see those little details. Yeah. And then obviously, and you're busy as well. So it's fast paced new technology you know it's you don't feel too bad because i think anybody could have fell for that um yeah yeah well i mean i i don't know it's it's like it feels like an invasion of privacy yes for sure i mean i guess it is it's technically is you know like i said i shared intimate details about my life and my family and things like that and it's just it's just it well well how is your mom doing is she out of the hospital yeah yeah no she's doing great you know she got cleared like two days ago she's okay. back walking again and uh that's good that's good to hear how did you how did you know about my mom being in the hospital exactly 